After a post on Facebook went viral in the group Weird and Wonderful Secondhand Finds, the That 70s Show replica sweater now has a new home. We've been following this cute story throughout the weekend, and our Megan Bunchman was there to meet the winner, Megan. Emily and Sue, for those who have not watched That 70s Show or even in its new ideation, That 90s Show, there's a sweater that it looks familiar to many. It's the more it's the, um, the more Kitty Foreman. It's the sweater that Kitty Foreman is seen throughout the series wearing, and this is a trendy item. A similar style sweater was found at a local thrift store, and today it's home to a Jenison woman. After five days of internet hype that included posts, pleas, inquiries all around this now viral picture, the retro and colorful sweater that looks similar to the one that Kitty Foreman wore in that 70s show is now off the market. Well, I won this beautiful sweater for, and I'm giving it to my daughter. While winner Eleanor Workman stopped into the Grant Me Hope thrift store by accident today, trying to return a purchase from a different shop. This wasn't where I wanted to be. <laughs> she couldn't pass up the chance to enter into this drawing. Eleanor! Every purchase here seriously matters. It matters to those kids and it matters to us who have a passion for it. Store manager Ashley O'Donnell has welcomed the hype surrounding this $4.99 find. We've had almost 900 new page likes. So that's 900 new people that are seeing our content, seeing our videos, seeing our mission, trying to get these kids adopted. And that alone is priceless, at least in our eyes. Proceeds from every Grant Me Hope purchase helps fund its mission to create adoption videos for older kids still in the foster system. While she has tried several marketing campaigns to get more foot traffic through their doors, O'Donnell says she never would have thought a sweater would be the answer to her prayers. And having that simple tag all of a sudden just put us in this crazy spotlight that we're in now. The initial Facebook post generated more than 36,000 views and brought national attention to this small thrift shop located off of Balsam Drive. In Hudsonville, Megan Bunchman, News 8.